What's up guys, Shahbaz here. So the flagship Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra will receive a different camera, long lasting battery and many other impressive features. Discussing the latest updates and leaks that suddenly confirmed. After the official announcement of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Z Fold 2 smartphones, more information has begun to emerge about the company's upcoming flagships such as the Galaxy S21. Earlier it was became known that Samsung is working on the creation of three models of the Galaxy S21. And now there is more information about the battery of the Galaxy S21 Ultra smartphone. According to reports, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, known as the SMG998, will ship with an EB BG998 ABY battery rated at 4885 mAh. The source suggests that the Galaxy S21 Plus is likely to have more powerful battery than the Galaxy S20 Plus, while the Galaxy S21 Ultra will use a battery of the same capacity as the previous generation model. As for the Galaxy S21 smartphone model SMG991, its power source will be the EBBG991 ABY battery with the nominal capacity of 3880 mAh, similar to that used in the Galaxy S20. However, this does not mean the future smartphones will not be able to become more autonomous. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra was the first mobile phone on the market to feature 10x digital zoom support, but tests have shown that this is just a marketing gimmick to grab attention. Sources have revealed the first details about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra's camera, which should also have four image sensors, but engineers must correct the shortcomings of the previous model. According to reports, instead of one telephoto lens, the smartphone will include two such models. The main image sensor should have a resolution of 108 megapixels. The wide angle camera will be 12 megapixels. There will also be a 10 megapixel camera for 3x optical zoom and the fourth module of unknown resolution for 5x optical zoom. As for the front camera, its resolution should be 40 megapixels. The South Korean tech giant is currently developing new Exynos processors to be more energy efficient and will be used in the next generation of S-series smartphones. The Samsung Galaxy S21 lineup is due to debut in February next year and may again include three models, including the standard, plus and ultra versions. The new devices are expected to be based on Snapdragon 875 and Exynos 1000. Depending on the region of sale, the latest rumor also indicate that Samsung Mobile Division has changed its strategy and is now focusing on developing smartphones with foldable screens. As a result, true flagship devices will come with foldable screens in the Galaxy Z line, while the Galaxy S and Galaxy Note lines will noticeably weaken in terms of features and performance. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care yourself very well. Peace out.